Hey guys, Machines and Mal here. You probably noticed in the last few videos I've been hinting that there's a big surprise coming for the channel. Well, I figure I better show it to you because I can't keep it a secret anymore. Um, it's just inside this barn here. So we went to a sale and we picked up some lawn tractors. We got two dozen, we got them all, two dozen lawn tractors. These, uh, these were a buy them all or a buy none deal. So we couldn't pick and choose which ones we wanted. Uh, we had to buy them all. It took us the better part of three weeks to get them transported to the shop, actually to the barn, which is just outside the shop. And um, yeah, we finally got them all together. They're all here. Sorry, it's dark, guys. We're just in the barn. They're all here, and uh, most of them need a small to medium-sized repair. There's a couple of nice zero turns. There's a Gravely 1742. That's an expensive machine. And here's a, this is an Arians, I believe, uh, zero turn. And uh, these were all, these are all machines that somebody, customer, dropped off at a shop and uh, the shop quoted the repair bill and the customer declined the repair. So they abandoned the machine in the shop and uh, the owner of the shop decided that they were tired of, of storing these machines and approached us. Uh, we made an offer on the pile and uh, they accepted. Actually that Husqvarna there, that's pretty much brand new. It's missing the deck. It actually has a, I don't know if you can see it hanging there, but a $600 price tag hanging from the steering wheel. There's a hood for it here somewhere. Oh, right there? No, here somewhere. And uh, I'm sure I can get one of the decks off one of the other machines to fit that, and we could probably sell that uh, basically and make our entire investment back, and the rest of this will just be gravy. Uh, there's some unique machines. Here's another Arians. They were always into the weird stuff. There's a couple of these old snappers and a couple of these rear engine craftsmen's. I think there's a Murray like that. There's another one right there. There's a Honda. It's the second one of those, a 3009. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to show you. There's a Toro, Toro Pro Line, wide area walk behind. Hopefully we can get that going. That thing's got to be worth a couple dollars. Over here, some more. Lots of Craftsman's, guys. Uh, most of them have decks. So here's a here's a really nice one actually. This 1542, uh, this has the Kawasaki two-cylinder engine in it. Um, we robbed the fuel pump off of it for a, a job the other day, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna put it back in. Most of these have batteries too, guys. So hopefully we can salvage a few of these batteries. Some of these have been sitting for a few years. Other ones are from last season. There's a big old Arians, well-built machine. Here's some parts machines we got, bits and pieces. Lots of uh, lots of work here, guys, but you know what? At the end of the day, I think we're going to turn a good profit on these, even if we sold them off for a few hundred dollars a piece. We factored our cost on on each of these units, and including, including time to go get them, because we had to load them into a trailer and unload them here, and, and some fuel for the truck. We guesstimate that um, each one of these tractors cost us between 50 and 60 dollars so even if you go to the extreme end of that 60 dollars i know we can sell runners for at least 250 if it's a nice runner 500 bucks maybe 400 bucks uh, there's a couple in here we could probably get a thousand dollars for so i'm thinking that uh, we're definitely going to make our money back we just need to find some time now to uh, work on these there's actually two more units I just want to show you real quick. They don't fit in here. We've got a pretty broken down barn that we're storing these in. The floor is caved in, but um, I would say probably the, the cherry on the uh, cake is going to be this machine here. Guys, this is an Xmark uh, laser, laser Z. Um, this one has the 55 inch deck, which was included. We do have it. Uh, the spindles seem good. It's got new blades on it. 
it's got the uh, Briggs and Strat, and I think that's a 25 horsepower twin, 22 or 25. Uh, it's got a battery in it. It's missing a gas cap. Not sure what's wrong with this. They've got the deck off, so I, the guy told me that I bought these all from that this one had a problem with the deck. Um, also, there's this older uh, Toro. I don't know what model that is. Uh, Proline 6160 turn. That includes the blower. There's a, a deck blower there, but there's no bagging kit. So we're gonna we're gonna work on these. Don't fit in there. They're too much of a hassle to, to push it through those doors. So we're gonna work on this X mark first because uh, I think we'd probably get maybe I don't know fifteen hundred dollars, two thousand dollars for it. Maybe more. Guys, correct me if I'm wrong. I want to make money at this. I don't want to give these things away. Start high is sort of the trick but anyway we're gonna make a few videos putting these things together and I uh, hope you follow along it's gonna be fun we're gonna we're gonna try and make some some YouTube magic for you to watch and uh, hopefully you learn something along the way of how to fix these lawnmowers thanks for watching